Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to another Minecraft TU25 video. Today in this video, I am focusing on two things. The first thing is the new iron trap door that was introduced, but mainly more importantly, I'm gonna be focusing on the new inverted daylight sensor. Some of you guys tweeted me a few things. How does it work? What can you expect from it? I'm gonna be teaching you in this video. Also, I'm gonna be teaching you about the manual crafting because obviously manual crafting has changed, so make sure you know how to craft these certain things. Also, in the comment section, I wanna know how many of you have switched to uh, manual crafting and how many of you have switched, or should I say stayed with automatic. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know if you've never played Minecraft PC before, but you're giving the manual crafting a go. So I'm a PC player and I do prefer that crafting, so I definitely did switch. So let's get into this. I hope you guys do enjoy. So crafting the iron trap door is different than crafting a wooden one. A wooden one is made like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Any type of wood, it can be oak, spruce, jungle, birch, um, and you simply put it in the crafting bench like this, and the outcome will be times two, so you'll get two wooden trap doors. Um, that's how you craft it. That's pretty much simple how it works. I don't have, in fact, let's just show you guys real quick. Let's just grab six, so I can grab one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, we could grab one of these, and we could grab one of them. I'm gonna show you how it works, so you can put any in there. It really doesn't matter, as long as you have the combination of wood. It does not matter at all. As you guys can see, there's two of them. And first thing is first, you notice when you place down a wooden one, you can actually activate it like this. The wooden one doesn't work like that. I'm gonna show you exactly how, sorry, the, the iron one doesn't work like that. First thing, when it comes to crafting it, you have to have it in this in this way, so it's four ingots. So it does cost a little bit more, and the outcome is only one trap door. Now you can stack these doors in 64. Uh, let me quickly split these again real quick. As you guys can see there, they do stack up to 64. But when placing this, it's kind of very similar to the normal door, the normal iron door you have at your front door in a Minecraft world. You can't close it like this. It, it requires like a redstone, a button, pressure plate, etc. Um, and as you guys can see on the screen right now, here's the difference in terms of wood to iron and breaking it, the hardness um, and how strong it is. I really wouldn't use the iron ones that much. In terms of the iron one, I would say that if you're gonna build like an iron house or you're gonna build like an adventure map, for me, I really don't wanna waste four ingots on just one trap door, but you might have your reasons to. Um, and I don't have any ingots on me, so let me just grab four and show you guys how to craft it. It is easy, uh, as you guys can see here. Just one, two, three, four, and the outcome is just one iron trap door. They still look awesome. I'm glad that they've been introduced. I guess we're getting more and more features, so you guys have more and more options. Um, so that is, in fact, the iron trap doors and trap doors in general. The next one is the inverted daylight sensor. Some of you guys have been having some issues with this. Now, as you guys can see here, here's the crafting recipe. So you need one, two, three glass on top, one, two, three quartz in the middle, one, two, three of any kind of slab in the middle. The outcome will be a daylight sensor. Now, a lot of you have been pressing X and looking in the redstone section. I see a daylight sensor, but I do not see the inverted. That is simply because you turn a daylight sensor into an inverted one yourself. So I place down this, and all you need to do is come up to it and tap it with your trigger. And as you guys can see, the, the colors change. So this is an inverted uh, daylight sensor. This is just a normal daylight sensor. However, if you to do this, and I'm to, sorry, quickly switch to um, survival, uh, and to break this, you don't get an inverted daylight sensor. It just is a normal daylight sensor. So try not to get confused. Uh, I'm gonna quickly break these real quick. Uh, I'm gonna switch myself back to uh, creative for this tutorial. And I'm gonna grab myself, just show you guys the, the crafting recipe and how it works so you have no issues at all. Because obviously manual crafting has been introduced and a lot of people are enjoying it, which I like, I like that a lot. So let's just quickly make this, oops, I've gone out the wrong way around. And let's just grab these. I think I can have them vice versa, but I like to keep it the right way. As you guys can see, we have four. So I'm gonna put that in there. In fact, I'm gonna grab two of these, one of these. So I have two. Uh, because I'm going to teach you how they both work. Now I've froze it at a certain point because the actual inverted daylight sensor works slightly different on Minecraft console compared to what I know on PC. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place down a normal one and right here I'm going to place down an inverted one. I'm going to grab myself some redstone here um, and I'm going to teach you a little bit more. So let's just grab some redstone and let's grab myself a redstone lamp. So basically a daylight sensor is used for sensing light. The inverted daylight sensor is used for sen sensing nighttime. It's pretty much the same thing, uh, but the opposite way around. So if I'm to put down this, and put down this, as you guys can see, you still have a little bit of a redstone signal. Now, 
This is because even though it's daytime, when it, get, when it gets to noon, like completely up here, the actual redstone signal will go and it won't be emitted. However, if you are using the inverted one, as the sun is going up to here, it will still keep this lit, which I will show you in just a second. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn off the daylight scent, the daylight cycle, so this cycle, so you can guys can see that. However, if I put this here, as you guys can see, daylight sensor, sensing light, it's gonna stay on right there. So that's how that definitely does work. So when this gets to a certain point, I'm not sure if it's gonna do it here, but normally it emits no redstone signal, meaning that the actual power is pretty much low at all. But you can see, obviously, one is on, one is not. Now, if I'm to quickly some do something here, if I'm to change this to uh, nighttime, as you guys can see, this is on, and the actual strength there isn't as strong. Um, so it pretty much changes it. Now I'm going to switch it to daytime again. And as you guys can see, it's still lit. But as this rises, this will decrease this, meaning that that will that eventually go off. It can take a little bit of time. I think it's to normally about here. If you guys want to see the full timing or when it changes, I will have a link to the wiki page. There is tons and tons of clear weather. You've got rain, you've got thunder, how much you can emit, how much you can expect to get from it. Uh, because there's really a lot to learn about this and I want to see you guys' creations with it. So hopefully this does kind of teach you a little bit more about it. Um, the only basic noob exclamation I can give you guys is that this sense is day. This sense is night in a way. That's the only way I can do it. it. These are good for if you're creating like caves underneath. So if say you're creating a burrow underground um, and you want to live underground, why not? Um, you could attach a whole bunch of a redstone lamps along with redstone and a sensor. So when you want to have to go to the top to find some food, you know that it's daytime, you don't have to worry about mobs at nighttime. That's kind of like a little bit of an example of what you can use it for. But I'm trying to wait it out to see if it gets to a certain point. You guys probably won't see it, but I'm hoping this does teach you again. The wiki page has everything you need to know in terms of crafting, recipes, guides, and much more. Apart from that, guys, I've been Echo. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!